Hey everybody, Mike Chipperini at Chippers Island Adventures and today I'm going to change out the water pump in the house portion of my Travato 59K. So hey everybody, Ever since I picked up my 59K, I haven't been really happy with the water pump. Uh, I don't seem to get the flow that I, I should have. It was poor enough that when I had the sprayer that was connected to the toilet, that sprayer barely worked. So I called Winnebago and Winnebago was kind enough to send me a water pump. And I've had the water pump for a few weeks or three or four weeks now. But I haven't had a chance to change it out and to be honest I've been kind of dreading it so today I'm going to go ahead and attempt to do this so I've never done it before and it's kind of a tight area so let's get to it okay so this is the water pump they sent me what this is is a Pentier Shore Flow and the model number is 4008-101-P65. And it's a pretty easy install. All it has is one harness to connect. It has an intake, or excuse me, an intake, and then the outflow. This is the direction of flow. And when you look at the water pump inside, this is what you're looking at. So the harness connects in the back. The problem is, the screws are going to be a little bit difficult to get to. The two front ones aren't bad, but I'm going to be a little bit blind on the back ones. And I'm going to show you why. All right, so here I am in the back of my rig. Now, the way to access this is this panel right here. So all you do is you pop that panel off. And then... Oops, here is... The fill, the uh, here is the water pump right here. You can see it's kind of a tight spot. I'm not looking forward to this, but I'm going to see what I can do. Now you would think that you could pull the drawer all the way out and there would be access from the top, but there isn't. And also, you may think that you could pull the Nautilus panel off, but I'm not sure if that will give me any room, so I'm not even going to bother with that. Again, there's no access behind this. Uh, area so this is it this is what we have so I'm gonna make do and see what I can do so here we go okay okay so the first thing I did is I disconnected the water connections one over here and one here as you can see they were on tight now what I'm gonna do is unscrew it and see what we got from there it's a there's no way I can film this while doing it. So you just have to take my word for it. So here we go Okay, so I got the old filter out as you can see and it's one harness once again And it is the same serial number or model number as the old filter Now what I got to do is take off this filter here and then I'll put it back on So we'll go ahead and do that Okay, so I put the uh, filter back on so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the screws and screw them into the base I'll put all the screws in and then I'm going to try to line it up I've also got to connect the harness which is right here so I got to make sure I connect that and it looks like it connects only one way uh, I hope so I believe it does Yes, it does. So, I'll go ahead, I'll change out the screws and I will get to it. And probably the next video I'll show is this being connected. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but I can see the screw holes. So I'm gonna try to use the same existing screw holes. And uh, so I'm gonna put the screws out a little bit underneath the new pump so that they can hopefully find those holes. And I'll show you what I mean. So hopefully you can see that. You can see the screws are out a little bit. 
and I figure if I get the front screws in, the back ones should line mm -hmm. up pretty well. So we'll see how that goes as everything is with this little project. And I'm hoping this works great. It would be great to have better water pressure than I've had before. So. Okay, so I got the new pump in. And let me tell you, it's a bit of a pain. And it isn't, the process is easy enough. It's just having access to get those screws in. Lining up the screws with the holes helped a great deal. Then you have to connect the water hoses, the supply and the discharge side. Make sure when you put the hoses on, where they connect is straight. Mine was off a little bit and I couldn't even get it to siphon. So one of the things I did is I got a bowl of water, I put it on winterize, and that was how I left the faucet open and that was how I was able to determine that the pump was working. All I had to do was turn on the pump switch from here. I opened up a faucet inside. If it was siphoning from here, I was good to go. If it wasn't, something was wrong. So whenever you have something wrong with something like this, start with the basics. You know it's connected, there's one, I mean in the power source. Two, make sure your water supply and your water discharge is corrected properly. Because if that's not corrected properly, you're not gonna get the right suction. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it's working now. This here is the old pump. I have to take a picture of this and send it back to Winnebago. They wanted a bottom, I don't know why, but I'll send it to them and the label. Um, but I'm gonna show you how well this is working now. I wasn't sure if my water pump was working. All I knew is it wasn't as good as in my last RV. So I asked a couple Travato people and one of the guys showed me how his hose off the toilet worked and I thought it worked fine. And I felt my toilet wasn't functioning properly. Uh, it would flush, but I think if it was solids in there, it would have a lot more of an issue. Um, now I'm gonna show you how my water pump is working now. So if we come inside and turn on the water, that is way better, way better than it was. So like I said, there's still probably a little air in the line, but that pressure is much better, much better. See, I probably still have air in the line from the hot water side. So that's it. It does seem to be running a little bit better, certainly initially, but we'll see how when I get all the air out of the system, how much better it is. It sounds a little bit quieter, but time will tell. So if you like this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel. All the best to all and happy RVing.